everyone, it's Elizabeth from Fern Creek Stickers and I am here today to do a reveal of the 2022 advent calendar. So <clears throat> this is coming a little bit late, but here it is. So if you're not familiar, the advent calendar is a Christmas countdown that has 25 different envelopes to open every day in December leading up to Christmas. It's not Christmas themed, it's not holiday themed, it's stuff that you can use any time of year, but a fun planner way to celebrate the holidays or even if you don't celebrate, to just have fun and open some planner goodies. So I will be doing an advent calendar again this year. We are in the planning stages right now and hopefully we'll be getting started on getting that made soon, but it'll be a similar process to previous years where it will be on pre-sale in September and then will ship in early to mid-November so that you'll have it in time for December 1st. So I'm gonna go through all the goodies from last year to show you what was in the calendar last year and the kind of thing that you could expect in future advent calendars. And my goal is to keep things so that it's, you know, similar but different so that you know if you see if you like what you saw in here if you order it again you'll sort of know what to expect but I want to keep making it different so you're not getting the exact same things every year so this is what you received with the advent calendar there's day one is here it does not fit in this um, pouch but then the pouch has all of the other envelopes inside of it so I'll be going through all of these so the pouch is kind of a bonus item that you get in the advent calendar and the theme for last year was pastel botanicals so all pastel colors and you can see that in the packaging as well um, pastel stuff and I can tell you already I have the theme picked out for this year and it is not going to be pastels so you know trying to keep things different and mix it up so um, the color scheme will be very different for this coming year so let's get into it and show you what is in all the envelopes so day one is this sticker book and these are available in the shop now. So this has 52 sleeves, so you can organize a full um, year of weekly kits in one place. And these are big enough, actually I've got more of them here. Um, and I'm pretty sure, yeah, I've got stickers in this one. So you can see this fits the um, half letter sheets that are five and a half by eight and a half. And so, it's got, oops, that's backwards. It's got some pockets in the front and then it has 52 pockets um, so that you can put a year of kits in it. And these are, again, I do have these in the shop and actually I happen to have all of them right here. So there are four colors available now that you can get these in. So this was a sneak peek of a new item. Then, get everything pulled out of the pouch so there is a day zero which is to open when you get the advent calendar so it's something kind of fun to um, I know a lot of people are tempted to open the whole thing at once when they get it and people have said having the day zero keeps them from opening the whole advent calendar at once so a little something to get to be able to open right when you get the advent calendar without uh, being tempted to open up the whole thing so you get a few different things in here so there is a set of transparent dots in rainbow colors and then stickers you can use to track opening the advent calendar in your planner so open day zero open day one etc and then some kit organization stickers so these can be used with the sticker book to mark the different weeks to organize your kits then day one was i, I guess i did this out of order day one was a sticker book then day two so these are the first stickers that show the two kit themes. So you'll see there's two different kits as you go through here. There is the fantasy florals and the soft succulents. So both pastel botanical, but pretty different colors and kind of themes. So this is different quarter boxes and assortment of different kinds. Then day three, you get a bunch of different date headers. So. Um, so sort of standard date headers in a solid color and also patterned and then some different more journaling inspired ones and two sets of date dots. Then day four is in here. Day four is a washi tape. And this actually, let me get for you where I can show you all these all rolled out. 
I've got a washi swatch book where I swatch out all my washi tapes. I'm trying to cover up the other ones. You don't see them yet. But so this is um, this set of washi tapes. So it's a skinny and a thicker washi in the soft succulents theme. So these are some green ones. Then day five. This is bottom washi. So you get, um, this is the fantasy florals. This is soft succulents another succulents one, and then another floral one. So I know bottom washi is essential for a lot of people, but also you could use it on notes pages. You can use it for a lot of things. It's pretty versatile. So, and I should say too, that I tried to, my goal with this is to give you enough stickers for a month of planning. So you get a ton of stickers and for a lot of people, they could stretch it even further. So lots and lots of stickers in, um, in these patterns and colorways. Then day six. So also included is a um, set of, let's see, is there one more in here? No, okay. Um, also included in addition to the kits, I have a functional colorway. So these are bright pastels. So I think that these are really fun colors. They're still light and pastel, but they're really kind of bright and pop. And so you get a bunch of functional items. So we've got some weekend banners, um, some Monday through Sunday boxes half boxes of different kinds and then also a bunch of appointment labels and plain labels so um so these are great you could bake a spread with just these stickers or you could pull them into other spreads as well then day seven these are some foiled stickers and so these are days of the week and so on each one you get two sets in this font and one set in this font and then um, two sets of date dots and there's four foils so there's hollow gold silver and rose gold so a ton of these and so you could use these in a lot of different ways but then i also included these um so these are uh, one point inch wide by half an inch tall and essentially what you could do is you can layer these over this so you could like they're sort of like build your own date covers but you could also use these over um, washi or just put them straight down in a planner so lots of different uses for those oops I was picking up the next envelope as I went then day eight is another washi tape so this one goes with the fantasy florals and you can see this here. So it's got hollow foil on it. I think this is really, really pretty um, with this scallop skinny washi and there's little hearts by these bouquets. I, oops, I, I'm having all kinds of problems. I really like this washi tape. Then day nine, we get some journaling stickers. So again, in both, both kit formats. So a sort of journaling sticker, some torn paper, paint swatches, arrows, flourishes, kinds of journaling stickers. Day 10. We get assorted functional stickers in both colorways, it's different kinds of labels. Day 11, oops, I'm really ripping this envelope. Day 11, you get sticky notes that match both kits and the succulent ones have rose gold, gold foil on them. The fantasy floral ones are not foiled, but um, really cute sticky notes. Day 12 are transparent functional items. So we have two sheets in the bright pastels. So there's paint swatches in the bright pastels and then also just these assorted small functional shapes. And then you also get a transparent sampler in each of the um, kit colorways as well. And day 13 is another washi tape. And this goes with the bright pastels. Let me show this to you rolled out because it is gorgeous. Um, so it has silver foil on it and you can see it's a gradient. It's this one here. It's a gradient um, with the different colors in it. So I'd never done a gradient washi before and I love how this turned out. So really, really pretty. Um, and then with just kind of an all over um, silver foiling design there. Day 14. We've got assorted doodles for both kit colorways. So you just get a ton of doodles in those colors. Day 15, more bright pastels. So 
there's a set of habit trackers. Then if you wanted to do a rainbow week with the pastel functional, so use these for a week, um, these are date headers you could use for that. Then there's different headers, so um, you know, like to do this week, so different um, word headers and then also some glitter headers. Then these script boxes, so they've got the um, script at the top and then the box underneath with different things on them. And then an assortment of quarter boxes in those colors. Day 16 has some black scripts. So um, these uh, notes page scripts that you could use <clears throat> on your notes page and then a assortment of scripts in these um, two different fonts together. And day 17 are half boxes that go with the two kits. Day 18 is another washi tape. Oops. So this is another one that goes with the fantasy florals. Um, it's more purple colors. So that is that washi tape. So again, hollow foil. This one has really subtle foiling on it. Just kind of some little sparkles on the flowers. Day 19 more foiled stickers so this is a set of months in each foil so there's hollow gold silver and rose gold so these are great for a lot of different things you could put them on notes pages you could use them if you're using the Erin Condren planner like those boxes at the beginning of the planner um, lots of different uses for these day 20 full boxes oops this got bent that's not good um so you get two sheets of full boxes for each kit. So these are kind of deco ones for the succulents, um, deco ones for the fantasy floral, and then some patterned ones for the fantasy floral and the soft succulents. So lots of different full box options that you can use for the two kits. Then day 21, get some checklists in different styles for both kits. Day 22, a big script sheet for each kit. Day 23 is another washi tape. And this is another one for the succulents. I really like this one. I keep saying that about the washi tapes, but I love how all these washies turned out. Um, so you can see it's this one here. So again, rose gold foil. Um, and I just love this line of the little succulents in the pots. And then finally, day 24. This is deco, so there is a deco sheet for each kit on both regular and transparent matte paper. So um, lots of deco, these are little sheets, but you get a lot of deco between the two, um, the two different kinds of paper. So that is the 2022 advent calendar. Um, so again, and this was, I should say too, this was exclusive artwork. So the artwork you're not gonna find anywhere else and I won't be reusing it for any kits at any point in time. So that is what you have. Again, there will be another advent calendar coming this year. Different theme, different colors, um, same kind of idea, mostly stickers, some non-sticker items. I'm gonna be working on some different kinds of items that I might include in the advent calendar this year, but this is a really fun project for me. I have so much fun doing it. It's definitely a lot of hard work, but definitely worth it. And I know a lot of you have really enjoyed doing the advent calendar over the last two years. So stay tuned because it will be coming again soon. Um, I hope that you enjoyed this video. And for those of you who got the advent calendar, I hope that you enjoyed opening the envelopes every day. And I'll see you all again soon. Bye everyone.